Hey guys, it's Jennifer Nicole, and it has been another month. The August Ipsy box came, and this one is actually bigger than the last one. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, $25, and yeah, I think we should just open it up and get into it. So, this has blue foam for packaging. So, this is what the brochure looks like. It has all the five different products you're getting with the descriptions of them. So let's go through the products one by one and see what we have in the August Ipsy box. So first thing I'm super excited about are these eyeshadow brushes. So they have a gradient effect that goes from a clear to blue to green and then yellow. The brush heads themselves are really soft and I'm excited to test them out a little bit more. Um, they're soft, but they still seem firm enough that they'll hold their shape. They are definitely like a, a plastic, but the brush head cuts in the plastic make it a little bit uncomfortable to hold and a little bit difficult to grip. I mean, nothing crazy. It just wouldn't be my first choice. Um, I was actually going to buy some eyeshadow brushes because mine are just getting old and I don't have all like the shapes that I was wanting. I was really wanting something like this one um, that is a crease brush, but just more fluffy and blendable. And then there's also this more packed brush. There's an eyeliner brush, a um, like a flat top synthetic brush that's really good for packing on eyeshadow, and then a smudge brush. Okay, so the next thing is a, um, a cleanser. It's a step one and it's from Rad Hydration. It has HAA and BHA. It exfoliates to reveal smoother, younger looking skin. And it's recommended that you use it two to three times a week. It comes out just like this milky liquid. Um, but I'm really excited to test this out and it is 6.75 ounces. So it will last an extremely long time. This is valued at $39 and, I, and these eyeshadow brushes are valued at $50. Okay, next thing I saw this on the when I got the email about what was coming and I'm super excited to test it out because it looks like a gorgeous shade. This is Finding Ferdinand Lipstick in the shade Au Natural. Very sticky piece of plastic. So it says it is a classic nude shade that earns a top spot in your purse. So the packaging of this lipstick is really exciting. You push it and then it comes out and at the bottom it has a FF engraving on it. So this is the shade and this is what it looks like. It is a more rose toned nude. It is The next is this Bye Bye Foundation Full Covers Moisturizer. It has broad spectrum, physical sunscreen, clinically tested to hydrate the skin and is anti-age. And I got this shade Fair. Now I have been pumping this out for a while so if yours doesn't come right away just keep pumping it and it should come out. So this is what the shade looks like. I'm excited to test this product out. Okay, so for the last product that came in the box, I am extremely excited. And that is In the Balm To Your Hand, The Greatest Hits Volume 2. And you have several different shades. You have eyeshadows and then you have the Bahama Mama, Mama Bronzer, which is just a very cult favorite bronzer. Four eyeshadows, a highlight, and three blushes and a bronzer. So I'm excited to be playing with this today as well. Let's move on to applying it all in the face and seeing how all the products work out. So I'm not gonna try out the exfoliator right now just because it can mess with my skin and then we won't know exactly how the makeup stays and applies. I will leave in the description box below how the exfoliator works and how I like it. I will also let you know more details on the foundation and the wear time of the foundation. I'm going to take one pump on the back of my hand so initially, first pass, I would say it's not overly full coverage. I can still see my freckles showing through. It's kind of just evening out my skin tone. And then also it is lightening up my skin tone quite a bit. First layer, still see a lot of my natural skin underneath. Which for me personally, I actually I actually like that. I like to be able to see my skin underneath. We're going to do one more pump just so I can see how it builds. It is just kind of blending into my skin fairly well. Don't think it's quite full coverage. So without setting it, there's not really much of a just instant transfer onto my fingers, but it does definitely feel like it needs to be set because it does feel a little bit wet. So next I'm gonna go back in with this Pixi Glow Mist. For powder, I'm going to be taking the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just applying that all over my face. Went ahead and filled in my brows really quickly. It was kind of a rough brow day, so let's move past that. But when I did, I went to cover up this spot a little bit more with a little bit more foundation. And I don't know if the foundation is oxidizing or if it's adjusting to my skin tone, but I feel like it looks a lot better. So I'm gonna show you, if I just apply more foundation, you can see how much lighter that is than the foundation that's already on my skin. First impressions, I think that's a pretty good 
product. Also, I lined my lips using the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Casanova. Go ahead and apply the lipstick. It is a very creamy lipstick. Okay, so there is the lipstick applied. I actually really like the color. I really love this packaging. And I would be interested in trying out other shades. I do think this is a beautiful beautiful nude. It's one of those nudes that doesn't like wash out your face and it has enough pink to it but it's not like too strong. It has more of a hydrating feel without being overly glossy. You can see putting it in my purse and using it all the time. So now let's move on to the face and start with the Bahama Mama bronzer. Okay so now for blush. I think today I'm gonna go with Insta which might be like you know, the same color as my lips. So it might be a little matchy-matchy. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess of the blush and just put it on my cheeks. So next, let's go in with the Mary Lou highlight. It's not quite a white highlight or a champagne or a yellow. I feel like it's more of like a vanilla. Okay, so it's really smooth, really reflective, really buildable. So now let's move on to the eyeshadows. Okay, so for eyeshadows, they don't have any like light all over the lid shadows and their transition shades are, you know, a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna start with the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take this shade Tempera and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Then I'm gonna take Golden Ochre and I'm gonna sweep that in the crease. Okay, so now going into the palette, I'm going to start with this shade Matte, matte Roost. And I'm just taking this on the outer portion of my lid and into the crease. And I'm taking Matte Reed, which is more of a plum brown shade, and I am applying that on the outer half of the lid. And again, into the crease, just slightly deepening up that crease and then creating a little bit of a gradient effect. Then I'm gonna go on with this shade Firm. Apply it just on the inner portion of my lid. And then just so we can test out some more of the brushes, I'm gonna go in with 105E Pencil Brush and I'm going to take the shade Matte Rustro and apply that to my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the shade Matte Reed and apply that just to the outer portion of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Alice Copper and I'm gonna apply that on the inner portion of the lid and I'm going to use the 65 EM brush to kind of blend that in a little bit more. So, so far I really like the brushes except for this smudge brush. It is extremely synthetic. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and come right back just so this video isn't ages and ages long. And the way that I like to say, you know, if I like them, if I didn't and kind of rate them is if I paid retail value for them, would I be happy with my purchase? It's really easy to say, okay, you know, I got all of these products and because they were all for $25, then yes, I'm happy with them. But to me, I wanna know, if I were to pay the price that they retail for, would I like them? So first off, the lipstick from Ferdinand, love it. I absolutely love it. I think I would be happy with this. This is a $30 lipstick. I do think the quality is a $30 quality. The next thing is the Balm um, palette. Definitely think this is worth $32. The contour, or sorry, the bronzer is beautiful. Love the way that it looks. I really enjoyed the highlight. The eyeshadows are gorgeous. They blend out very nicely. They're very pigmented. And I think that is a through and through, you know, thing I noticed with the balm is that the products are pigmented, they're creamy, and they also blend out well without having a lot of kickback. So for all of those reasons, I think this is a wonderful product. And had I paid $32 for it, I still think I would be you know, just as satisfied as I am with it right now. The eyeshadow brushes, they are valued at 50, you know, just, I don't think they are worth $50. Do I think they're decent brushes? Yes. Do I think they're a really nice add on? Yes. Do I see myself using them? Yes. But would I be happy and satisfied had I paid $50 for them? No. And that's just because they are like, I don't think synthetic fibers is a bad thing but these are so synthetic that they feel like they're plastic. Are they nice? They're decent, but I wouldn't pay $50 for them. Um, the next thing is the X Cosmetics Foundation that is full coverage, 
skin. I think I would put this more in a medium coverage. I think it is, you know, really beautiful. It has sunscreen, which can be a love-hate relationship for people. You know, it is going to protect your skin, but it is going to give a little bit more of a greasy feel. I like this. I'm a little too early for me to give you all of my thoughts on it, but I will tell you in the description below how it holds up and just, you know, if I continue to like it, if I break out from it, anything like that. And then the last thing, cleanser. I, I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to try it. I do think the sheer amount of products you get for this is amazing. And um, it's a very, you know, high, like more high-end Sephora brand. So I'm excited to test it out and kind of see how it feels. So overall, do I think it was a good box? Yes, I love it. And again, I would definitely re recommend the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, especially if you're on a budget. Um, it's really easy to spend $25 at the drugstore on three products and you know these are getting full-size products that often have high-end products as well so I think it is a wonderful you know purchase if you're looking to build your makeup collection to just have more products and more things to test out I think it's honestly a great value hit the thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it and I would appreciate you you know just joining me on this journey watching more videos with me telling me the type of content that you like and the question for today is what is in your ipsy bag so if you got an ipsy bag whether it's a glam bag or the standard bag let me know in the comments below what your products what products you got and which ones are your favorite and if you don't have an ipsy bag yet let me know if you're gonna get one or if you would prefer to just you know, pick out your own products or why or why not you would choose Ipsy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, it's Jennifer Nicole and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.